Welcome back, folks, to MNR Specialty Trailers. Today we've got a nice, a very nice uh, trailer here to show you. It's a barbecue trailer, but it has a Southern Pride smoker on it. And we'll show that to you later. Let's walk you around the exterior and show you the, the trailer. The trailer uh, from the front here has got a generator on the front, the gas on the front. We've got a shield for the sound to keep the sound of the generator off the serving side of the trailer. Richard can show you a shot on, of the trailer. The trailer has been wrapped uh, for the owner's uh, sales. Uh, as you can see, uh, we'll have Richard kind of scan around, and as he's scanning around, I'll show you the components. On the front, you have your gas, you have your gas valves, you have your electric hookup. This is to hold your service cable. Your service cable, we now have it over to our bench and got to plugged in, so we have our lights and everything on. If you don't have a service, you can fire up your generator. This is your propane setup for your generator and your cookers. These are your valves, on and off, left and right tank. And as you're coming around, this, this trailer is equipped with two large holding tanks because there is a bathroom in this trailer. So you have a, a bathroom facility. And we'll show you that when we get in. All right, this is a 28-foot trailer. It's got a 7-foot tongue on it, so we have a lot of room for the accessories. And uh, it's a big trailer. It's well set up. It's heavy spring. It's got 7,200-pound axles on it. And you can see the hood system. You have your hood system for your, your, your overhead hood of your cookers, and you have your fan system on the back for your uh, Southern Pride cooker. Let's walk around the side here and take a look at it. Uh, the Southern Pride is installed on the porch. We've got screen doors on both sides so you can get to your drains and get to your wood box. And it's uh, all set up on the porch itself, and the porch is all screened in. At the front of the trailer, again, we're going to go down the passenger side and show you what's all on the passenger side. The trailer's been wrapped on all four sides. This is the compartment here that holds your fill for your water tanks and your hookup for your water. If you have a water on the, if you have a, a city water condition, you can run the hose here and charge the system. Uh, you have a door holder here. Your entry door is here. You're coming back, this door here contains a LED screen TV, which, I don't know if you can see it, we have a cover over the face. That's for your menu board or your videos or whatever you want to do. Your uh, tray is up for your serving counter. Here's your serving counter area, which gives you the windows. And moving right behind, you can see from in the window where the wall ends and the front of your cooker is in the, in the inside the trailer. And behind it is your cooker. And I don't know if this is going to help you or hurt you, Richard, with the screen, but you can see the two 100-pound tanks that feed your Southern Pride barbecue. This is a very nice, very one of, the, one of your top quality units. Uh, uh, it, it, it's a very nice unit. The outside, you can see up on the top, you can notice it has outside speakers and stereo system. It has outside lighting. And, uh, we can do whatever you want to do. The customer, this is what the customer wanted, and so this is what the customer got. Uh, we pretty well got a nice dressed up trailer here. Now let's take you inside, show the efficiency and how much is in this trailer. There's a lot of good things in here. Let's go inside the entry door. I'm going to lock the entry door open. So it doesn't, it, this trailer has a screen door system on it. So when you're in there, if you, if you don't want to run your air, you can Put your screen door open and close, and, and we'll step into the trailer. All right, I'll go up here out of the way and let Richard move to the back. Looking at the front of the trailer, you're going to be looking at the sinks. I'm going to step out of the way so you can get a shot. We've put the three-bay sink, shelving, hand sink, and a work table in the front nose. Your, your um, electrical panel is up here with everything broke down on all your breakers with your with your crossover for generator or shore power. Down below here, your auto gener generator start is in here remote, so you don't have to go outside for anything. Uh, this offset room here in the front, you can see, uh, I, you know, I'm going to have to get you, I don't know how we're going to show this to you, but this, this is his bathroom. Uh, we can bring the door, but we can't, we're going to bring you around here. We'll show you the bathroom, let Richard move to that side. And it is a compacted bathroom, 
but it, it gives them a toilet, it gives them a vanity sink, and allows them to have you know that facility right where they're where they where they're working. All right. Coming back through the trailer, you'll see these are 75 pound fryers. These are big fryers. These are our cover systems to hold the grease in during shipping. There are three 75 pound fryers here. There is a 36 inch griddle here. There's a four burner gas imperial burner system with a gas oven. To my right is a sandwich refrigerated underneath and at the top sandwich prep station to put all of your uh, items, onions, tomatoes, sliced, whatever to keep them cold to make up your sandwiches or whatever you want to make up here. You have your refrigerator, a freezer right here by your cooker area and you got overhead cabinets everywhere we had a space. We got a storage cabinet facility above with the snap locks. Beside, on this side, you have your beverage cooler for all your beverages with your glass front. And you have a big warmer box here. It's loaded with trays, keeps everything hot. Whatever you're cooking, you've got a hot box here that's keep whatever temperature without drying your food out. Professional hot box, which opens from the serve from here next to a big work table back here. Now your work table is set up by your cooker and your overhead cabinets are set up here. So you have additional storage. You have your speakers back here for your stereo. You've got your fire system pull station back here. If you're in the back and there's a problem, you pull a station, sets off your fire extinguishing product, which is you have a large tank here on the wall, which Richard will show you. Whenever you want to take stuff out of your cooker, your cooker is here. Your cooker is hot. It's got smoke in it. It's set up to where when this door opens, it automatically keys the blower and pulls all the smoke out the ceiling, out through the vent, out through the top vent, so no smoke comes in your trailer. So you can see when you open this up, your unit goes on, and you have a pedal operation. Bring your meat anywhere you want it, stop it where you want it, start it where you want it. And you can hear the fan running, taking all the smoke out. That's how it works. You shut your doors, it automatically turns off your fan, your lights, until you open doors again. Over to your right, we've got outlets. We've got your serving window is right here, so that uh, you can uh, screen area. You can open them all the way up, and you got serving from two sides. You got an overhead shelf just for a little extra storage for bread or whatever you want to put over. We've utilized about every square inch of the trailer. Uh, it was designed for what you see, and there's no extra room. There's, you don't want to waste space in these. You, we want to plan them out, use every bit of space, and make them as efficient as possible. As you can see, the trailer is laid out efficiently, and this all happens prior to the trailer ever being built. Uh, when the customer comes in, they'll go over all of their needs. They'll sit down with Richard, and we'll help set up a floor plan, and he'll do an AutoCAD drawing like you see in my hand here, basically this is a total blueprint of the trailer prior to the trailer even being purchased. Uh, we'll go through, we'll identify everything, we'll lay it out, and then the owner has a chance to move, change, or whatever we have need to do. Once we're all satisfied that everything's right, it's built by this blueprint. That way it ends up being what the owner asked for. Uh, this, this unit is, uh, you've got your lighting on the ceiling, you've got your air conditioning, and you've got your white aluminum interior, which is all worshipable. It's a baked on aluminum finish, a, a baked on white paint on aluminum finish. And it's a pretty efficient unit. This, uh, he should be able to do a good job with this, and it will be a good looking trailer out there, a good looking restaurant. And uh, we, uh, we got these ready to go, uh, folks. I mean, come on up and visit us. We'll, we'll, we'll make a blueprint for you, and we'll get one started.